What's good, shoot 'em up, gang gang? I got a topic today for y'all that nobody has discussed in the community. Nobody has dropped a video on this, and me and my crew was talking about it. And that topic is base versus beach players, and who's better, and which play style requires more skill. In this video, I'm gonna go over all the points. I'm gonna explain to y'all the difference between the two play styles, and then I'm gonna give y'all my opinion on who's better. So without further ado, let's get into this video, man. Before I give y'all my opinion and state my points, I wanna, I wanna make sure I make this perfectly clear. I'm not calling base players trash, I'm not calling beach players trash, and just because I have a different opinion on who's better doesn't mean that I'm taking or degrading the other one's play style. Because at the end of the day, both require a bunch of skill and both aren't easy to do, especially AW. So with that being said, in my opinion, base players are better than beach players. Base requires more skill than beach. And my first point, and, and let, me, let me clarify this too. I don't consider myself a base or a beach player. I, I don't do base 1v1s enough. For me to consider myself a base player, I don't do I don't do beach aw one v ones enough to consider myself a beach player. I consider myself an all around player. I've done base one v ones. I've done beach one v ones. I've practiced both. I've got kicks at both, and I'm gonna have a video dropping on both soon, a beach touch and a base touch. But my first point on why base players is better is because of speed. Now. Me and my crew was arguing because some were saying that beach requires more speed than base. In my opinion, beach doesn't require more speed than base. And here's and here's why. At the base, you have to be quick as fuck. Like you cannot you can't be slow at the base and do base 1v1s or you're gonna die, bro. Like at the beach, you can be you can be slow, you can be slower at the beach than you can at the base and still get kills, still get kicks, and all that. But when it comes to the base, the spawns are the spawns are so much different. Like when you spawn in, you gotta cover you gotta cover multiple spawns quickly, and at the same time watch behind you as well, because you see at, at the at the beach, most of the spawns are just straight ahead. Most of the spawns are straight ahead, bro. So you don't have to necessarily be that fast. You get what I'm saying? Like you can be you can be you have to be fast, but you don't have to be fucking the speed of light opposed to at the as fighting at the base like if you're not quick at the base you're, you're gonna fucking die if you don't know what you're doing you're gonna fucking die it's as simple as that base players are much faster than beach players if you don't believe me you can watch the videos like sinkable curves um what are, what are the base players is well those are the main two that i i hear about they're fast as fuck at the base bro like they're fast and the other and the other fucking people who do base but that's that's my first point when it comes down to speed base players are faster than beach simply because you have to cover more spawns you have to watch it back opposed to the beach where most of the spawns are straight ahead occasionally you'll get somebody to spawn behind you or spawn on the side but most of the most of the spawns are straight ahead you're already at like at the beach, you already know where they're going to be because most of them are straight ahead. You can already be, you know, aiming in. But base is completely different than that. At the base, you can know you can know where they're going to be, but they they still won't spawn there. Like I see a lot of people watch base videos and they'll notice that that little place in the road is where everybody gets their keck set. But if you watch a video, you'll you'll think that. But if you do a base one v one, you'll see that they do at in base one v ones. People do not spawn there as often as you would think, bro. I promise you, they don't. And then I know some people are going to make the point. Well, at the at the beach, you have to you have to snipe. To me, base sniping is so underrated, bro. Like, think think of, think about this right quick, and then I'm gonna move on to my next point. At the beach, when you snipe somebody, if they're doing AW, you snipe somebody that's supposed to sniper, it, it's a flat surface. You're going to see where they're going to land. So therefore, it's easier to finish. But see, at the base, where it's like it's close, super close range AW, as you can see right there, it's once you snipe somebody, they can fall behind the grass. You can't even see them with the thermal. So you have to know. Like, you will lose a lot of sniping kills at the at the base 
if you're not fast enough and if you're not accurate enough to know where they are. You get what I'm saying? It's harder to finish with a sniper at the at the base than it is at the beach, simply because of all the damn the little hills in the road, the grass, and because the thermal can't see through all of that. So that's and you have to be quick as fuck to do that. So that's my first point on why bass players are better and faster than beach. My second point is kick difficulty. And I want y'all to remember that I'm talking about AW style. This is AW, this is not just heavies only. This is AW. The kick difficulty at the base is a lot higher than it is at the beach. At the base, you can kick somebody, and like I said earlier, you can you will lose a bunch of kicks at the base because simply you won't be able to see where they are. Like you can kick somebody, they'll fall down in the damn behind the grass, and you can't see them with the thermal. So therefore, making it harder to get a kick. Now opposed to the beach where you when you kick somebody, yeah, they can evil, but you're still going to see them the whole time. You get what I'm saying? But at the base, you kick somebody, now you can't see them, now you know they're they're about to evil, so you have to find them some of the time. Because of all the fucking shrubs and all the hit the damn lumps in the grass and all that shit. So it's harder to get kicks at the at the base than it is at the beach, regardless to what people may think. Like I said, to, in, in my opinion, base has more spawns than beach. Like it's more areas of the map you have to cover at the base. Like you gotta like just because people may see people getting a base players getting a lot of kicks in that little spot in the road, you still have to cover multiple spots. You just can't, it's just not that one spot. You have to cover multiple spots. And then at the same time, you gotta cover all those and you gotta cover the ones behind you as well. Opposed to the beach where most of the kecks you see people get at the beach are straight ahead. You get what I'm saying? Most of the kecks you see bass players do, they're spamming all around them, then they hit the quick turn, and then they keck somebody that's behind them. Or they're spamming right beside them, and then they spam across the road, they'll shoot a good... This is what they'll do. They'll, they'll, they'll sit on the map, right? They'll spam a few grenades across the road. Then they'll cover all the spawns beside them with a homing. And then they'll look across the road and they just kick the dude across the road with the grenade launchers. Which takes with that shit takes skill. Opposed to the beach where I've literally gotten a kick where I just spam two grenades in front of me, turned around, spam homies behind me, and the grenades kicked him. You get what I'm saying? Because you know he can only be in front of me or he can only be behind me. It's rarely that you see somebody spawn beside you at the beach. I've done beach 1v1s with bass players from my crew and other bass players that I know in this community. And that's my second reason why I believe bass, bass players are better and faster than beach players and that's because of keck difficulty, which is much harder at the base than it is at the beach. And my third point, I've already covered this one a little bit in the previous one, it's, it's spawn difference. The spawns the spawns at the base, you have to know a lot more spawns at the base. Regardless what people may say, in my opinion, it's only a, it's only a handful of spawns at the beach, bro. They can either spawn in front of you or they can spawn behind you. And depending where you're at on the map, when you're fighting at the beach, they can occasionally spawn up on a hill or up towards the middle area where you just see I just e rolled in the video. But at the base... They can spawn beside, they can spawn to your left, they can spawn to your right, they can spawn in front of you, they can spawn behind you, they can spawn across the road. Like, it, you, it's, the spawns are much more, you have to really know how to cover the spawns at the, at the base, bro. Opposed to at the beach where it's, it's much easier, it's much easier to learn. It's much easier to get kecks at the beach than it is at the base. Because at the base, you have to be quick as fuck, like I said. So that's that's my third reason on why I believe that bass players are faster and have more skill than beach. And that's because of spawn difference. And if you think it's easy to cover all those spawns at the base, then do a base 1v1 with a good bass player and you will see. Just because you're spamming in one spot, they can put him right there. Like, <laughs> come on now. But that and I'm gonna move on to my last point, and then I'm gonna wrap this video up. And it's accuracy. Now, I already know some people are going to say, oh, well, they're snipers, so it's more accurate at the beach. That's not, that's not necessarily true. 
because then again you got you got to remember what I said earlier the bass has a lot more shit around the beach is all flat surface you can see your opponent all the time the most thing the only things that are gonna get in your way at the beach is pedestrians and fucking surfboards but at the base you got all these you got these hills in the ground you got these shrubs you got trees you got all that so you have to be a lot more accurate at the base like I know I know people are gonna sit here and say that most of the time people just use rockets at the base but those rockets have to be fucking accurate bro those grenades have to be accurate when you're when you're when your opponent just died at the base and you're spamming all those grenades around a spawn those grenades have to be accurate bro because it's, it's a bunch of places where they can be at you get you get what I'm saying so when it comes down to accuracy I believe that beach I, I believe that base players have more accuracy than beach so that though those are my main reasons why I believe that base players are more accurate and are faster than beach and when it comes to the two I believe that if you put a base player in a beach aw that base player will find it and find it a lot easier to win than if you was to put a beach aw player at the base Be because <laughs> y'all seen that 1v1 with, with icy and sinkable sinkable one at the beach if you put icy and i'm not and i'm not disrespecting icy at all but i'm just making a point right here if you put icy at the base with sinkable it'll be a lot more harder for him to fight in that base 1v1 than it was for sinkable to fight in that beach 1v1 and people would say that well a top a top sniper beat a top base player and then they're referring to when um recoil uploaded sinkable recoil wasn't the one who fought sinkable that was sad and that was just heavy only if that was aw i don't think that sad would have beat sinkable you get what i'm saying and I'm not, like I said, I'm not disrespecting none of them. I'm just making, I'm making points right now with the known people who do, who post these type of videos. Because I don't post these type of videos. They, they post these type of videos consistently. So, and that, this, that's my, that's really my final point right there. Like, a bass player will have more success in a beach 1v1 AW than a beach player would have in a bass 1v1. Because that, be, that base, that beach player isn't really going to have all that experience of covering a bunch of fucking spawns you get what i'm saying but when you put that bass player at the beach and now they now that bass player doesn't have to worry about covering all those spawns most of it is just straight ahead or it's behind that bass player is going to be good as fuck like that bass player is going to be dominant you get what i'm saying that's why sinkable can be so good in a base in a damn beach 1v1 and no, I'm not dick riding or no shit like that, but I give props where it's due. And that's that's all I pretty much have to say. Make sure y'all leave y'all opinions below. Which do you think is better, beach or base? I might get some hate for this video. Some people are going to say, well, you don't do neither, so you shut the fuck <laughs> I've done both, bro. I'm not the best at either one. I'm just simply giving my opinion. And I know this video is going to start a bunch of talk amongst the community. So... Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe if you're new. Still grinding. Oh, yeah, we just hit 32,000 subs, by the way. Thank y'all so much for that. So the road to 33K starts now. And shoot them up, gang. I'm out, bruh. Let me hit the vape before I go.